Hey YouTube, how you doing? Welcome to another SPU, a Skeletal Piper update. This is what I do on Friday. I hope everybody had a good week. You're looking forward to the weekend, I'm sure. Don't know what's going to happen this weekend, but I'm open to do anything, I think. It's a beautiful day here in Texas. Uh, we've had some rain. Yesterday was overcast. It was overcast this morning. Uh, right now it's about 72 degrees and this is August. It should be like about 90 already. So I will take this. I'm going to sit out here in the shade in my favorite spot and I am going to enjoy it. I am smoking one of my favorite little cigars. This is a, my Uzi Weighs a Ton Bait Fish. It's a great little short smoke. Had a cigar this morning with some tea and that was a CAO Black uh, Bingle. Uh, that's a great little cigar. I had one of those earlier this morning. Talked on Boxer for a little while, not too long. I had some stuff here to do around the house, but uh, and one of those was eat breakfast. <laughs> but uh, not always nice getting on Boxer and, and chatting with everybody and seeing how everybody's doing. And since it's the afternoon, I've had my lunch. I am enjoying some Smith Oatmeal Stout. This is a great oatmeal stout and it goes excellent with this cigar. The cigar has some nice little chocolate notes and a little bit of wood notes and it this blends perfectly with this uh, oatmeal stout. This stuff's good. So if you watch my video response to uh, Derek Tant's 156 sub contest, you will notice that I am all still all in one piece. <laughs> he hadn't come and got me yet, but I don't think he will now because I entered his darn contest, a big bully. But uh, I don't or normally enter very many contests, and the reason being is, is I've got a ton of stuff. I've probably got 60, 70 pipes. Now, some of those don't get smoked. They're put back, boxed up collectibles. I'm a collector. I love to collect pipes. Most of it all comes from eBay. I got some of the stuff that belonged to my grandfather and my uncle. That stuff is put back. I do smoke a couple of the pipes that belong to my grandfather, but they just normally don't make it on camera because I normally smoke them during the week. But uh, that's the reason why I don't normally enter contests. I have got a ton of stuff. I don't need any more stuff and people send me stuff. And I send the stuff out to people, but I don't toot my own horn. I ask people not, you know, not to make a uh, a yabo video when I send them something because I know I send it to them, and it's just something between me and them. And hey, if they want to make a yabo, that's fine. I just ask them not to because I just feel like that's tooting my own horn when I do that, and I'm a introvert I really don't need I don't need that kind of stuff but uh, I do appreciate it when they do it so basically if I'm going to enter a contest you got to have some guy that lives you know about 150 miles away threaten to kick your ass to enter a contest <laughs> but uh, anyway uh, this is my ghostly smoker look this one's for you Kyle I have no idea why I put this hat on backwards I can't stand it when people wear their hats on backwards, and here I am doing it. Jiminy Christmas. Mm. If you've ever tried one of these, uh, my Uzi weighs a ton. The bait fish is my favorite size of these. I think they're coming out with a couple of new sizes. I may try to get some of those when those are released. And uh, but this is my favorite. Of the, of the line, I should say, and I've probably said that a million times in various sundry videos. <laughs> but that's a great smoke. If you never tried anything that Drew Estate makes, I encourage you to go out and uh, spend a little money. Some of their stuff is pricey, but some, their stuff, I have never ever had a bad Drew Estate cigar, whether it was construction, burn, uh, you know, coming unraveled, whatever. 
it's always they've always been a great smoke and I don't expect you know I don't expect that to change anytime soon and see I got spoiled because the very first Drew Estate cigar that I ever smoked was a League of Provada number no. nine and that was just that's like the pinnacle for me a lot of good smokes I look more uh, I love the Mia Moore. Uh, I love the Undercrown. I like a lot of different stuff. I have a very wide variety of taste. And I like to think that I have a pretty discerning palate because I've been smoking cigars and pipes for a very, very long time. And those are things that you develop over, you know, over time you develop a palate. Or one day you'll be smoking a blend and people are talking about it. You know, this thing's got leather, it's got wood, you know, and pipe tobacco. You know, there's some dried fruit flavors, and you're just like, I don't get any of this. These people are lying. They're, they're not telling me the truth. It's not there. But one day you're just sitting there smoking your pipe or you're smoking your cigar, and then boom, you're like, hey, I get that. I get that. And that's what you need to learn if you're just smoking different blends because you'll hear us that have been doing it for a long time you know calling out these flavors you know and it's really hard for you to to get that so if you're trying something and you like it but you're not getting what other people are getting just keep smoking it you know smoke it slow and just let let it speak to you <laughs> anyway I don't know I'm just rambling today. I really don't have anything to talk about. So I thought we'd just talk about whatever. <laughs> I'm supposed to go play some disc golf this afternoon. That's what I do for exercise. I think I'm going to make a video. We got a, here in the little town I live in, they, they built a municipal park that has a disc, a nine hole disc golf course in it. So one day I'm going to go over there and I'm going to shoot a video and you can watch me look like an idiot. But that's what I do for exercise. I don't ride a bike or swim or anything like that. I play disc golf. Same rules as golf. You just play with specialized disc. It's a lot of fun. It's really big here in Texas. There are a ton of parks. Uh, if you've seen guys out playing disc golf and you wondered if it'd be any fun, it's fun. It's cheap to get into. I have a ton of disc. I've spent money on it, but I've been playing for a long time. And... Uh, just go out and play almost everywhere you can go play is in a city park it's free it costs you nothing most of the courses are challenging it's great fun it's great time and if you can get your friends to do it that makes it even better I enjoy playing by myself I can just go out and play clear my head take a cigar take my pipe and just let it all go It's a great smoke. So guys, that's really just about it. Look forward to that stuff there. And I always sit in the damn ants. It don't matter where I sit in this yard, there is an ant that will come and find me. I have no ant beds in my yard, so I don't know where they come from. I treat my yard, but I always end up getting by. What an ant, it was a mosquito. <laughs> and now we're back to the very first of this video, so that means we've gone full circle. It's time to quit. Hey, you guys have a great weekend. I hope next week finds you blessed as always. And until we share another stick together, another great brew, peace. <laughs>